So now we're going to have a look at um, the pelvis moving side to side. Um, and we did this before, step onto the right leg, bend the left knee, step onto the left leg, bend the right knee. Um, and we're going to look at how this cog works all the way up to the spine. Um, and we have a lovely little picture just here. Um, and our Spider-Man this time has got spectacles on. Um, and the idea of that is just so you can see which way his head goes. So here he is standing nice and straight. And this is where he bends his left knee. So if I was to bend my left knee, that's where my pelvis drops down on that left hand side. Now, those cogs work the same way coming up the system. So as the cog drops on the left, it then drops on the right in the thorax, it drops on the left in the head. So again, you can see our lovely man here, he's dropped down on the left, he's come up on the, on the left, and then he's dropped down on his left ear as well. So the idea with this exercise is that then we're working on integrating all the muscles on the side of the neck with the sides here um, and all this, uh, all the muscles which basically strap onto the side of the body. So here it goes, this is what the exercise looked like. So we put our weight in the right leg, bend the left knee. We reach down with the right side here so we get a bit of a stretch through here and we keep the head on the horizon and then we go the other way. So put the weight into the left. Bend the right, reach down with the left. And the other way. Now I want you to imagine on this one that you're in a tube which won't allow you to move outside of that tube. So just standing close, also a pane of glass in front and behind. So it's a small movement. So we drop in and we drop in. And I want you to see how effortlessly you can make that work. As opposed to trying to fight it and batter it into there, make it small. And just feel that really gentle, gentle stretch as all that movement starts to link together.